Then and you were that's not happening. And that doesn't happen. You know, usually, she'll no be very charged up, wanting to come in here. She says, "Apas mein lande to inka kuch nahi hone wala." They'll come up with nothing but just empty words, and that at the end will not really amount to much of a challenge for the BJP. Uh, Rahul, uh, nice to see you back at 8 p.m. Um, I just want to say a couple of things. You know, uh, I agree with Rajdi for a change. The more things change, sometimes the more they remain the same. And I'm reminded of a very famous, a favorite of mine, a quote man. by Muhammad, a favorite quote from Muhammad Ali, the great boxer, who said, "It is not the big mountains in front of you that weigh you down or wear you down. It is often the small pebble in your shoe." And I think Rahul Gandhi is now that pebble in the shoe for the Congress, who refuses to fully commit to the cause of the Congress, and at the same time. he refuses to step down so the congress is basically in a state of perennial suspension uh, i want to also draw your attention to one very important thing you know sonia gandhi said that the restructuring of the party uh, will address three things uh, the ideological issues grappling the party the managerial issues grappling the party and the electoral issues grappling the party i think the electoral issues grappling any party including the congress are a function of the ideological issues and the managerial issues as far as ideology goes let's be very clear congress has no ideology so to speak of it allied with the sdpi in the karnataka civil body polls it allied with the radical welfare party of india in the kerala polls and it allied with somebody like a badruddin ajmal in assam so basically their politics is politics of opportunism and convenience Which has been completely trashed by the electorate. Speaking okay, no. of managerial, speaking of managerial abilities, <coughs> tell me one thing. I ask both you, Rahul, and Rajdeep, how many uh, you know uh, votes did BJP win in Lok Sabha 2014? It was close to 17 crore odd. How many did we win in 2019? It was about 22.6 crore odd, which is basically a 32 percent jump. in 2019 vis-a-vis 2014 now even people who do not like bjp and are very conservative while giving out their estimates these political pundits have said that in 2024 even if bjp improves its chances by just 15 15 or 20% over 2019 even then it will have in its kitty anywhere between 20 No, no, one second. Sanju, you are accusing the Congress of opportunism. That, madam, is a charge that can be leveled on multiple parties, including Rahul, yours, in the tie-up between the PDP and the BJP. Opportunism is not the problem. All parties are opportunistic. The bigger problem is the problem of leadership. Rajdeep, what's your best sense at this moment on how this this 300-pound gorilla about whether Rahul Gandhi is coming back or does he have the good sense to walk away? How is that likely to be addressed? that isn't going to be addressed in the chintan shivir and i think there's enough indication to the fact that whatever is the leadership issue has been kept for august september when the organizational elections are expected to be concluded we don't know the uncertainty at the moment will persist in my view till july august there will be the echoes the chorus will be there saying we want rahul gandhi as a party president but the sense i get what sources tell me he hasn't yet made up his mind but did he ever make up his mind no we don't know whether rahul gandhi at the moment wants to be party president or wants to look for a non congress guy uh, uh, a non gandhi congress leader we are told that he wants to look for a non gandhi congress leader but it's been 3 years and therefore there is the criticism na banunga na banne dunga if rahul gandhi genuinely wants a non congress uh, a non gandhi congress leader there's no reason why he can't uh, find one there's been you know it's been almost 3 years since he resigned who is that leader going to be and can that leader alone transform the party is the question will he be someone who simply is there in the shadows or will he be someone who will be given an identity of his or her own that's the challenge the congress has to start deciding i don't think at the moment the gandhis are going anywhere let's be very clear they don't need to go anywhere they well, can be in the party but have a real leader who knows what he is doing who wants to do their job who's committed to that job full the all day long like modi shah like kejriwal that alone is not going to solve the congress crisis nothing crime. alone will solve it as a it is, it is i keep saying rahul it is a patient at the moment in icu bandaid will no longer work but you need to know who your doctor is 
Right now, they don't know who the doctor is. No, no, the doctor has to be someone who can command the respect of his own party. And an important thing that Sanju Verma said is also able to get voters to vote for the party. You see, the Congress has grown from about to give you figures from 2009 when they won an election to 2021. They've been around between 9 and 11 crore voters. The BJP has grown from 7 to 8 crores to 21 crores. So it's not just about what the congressmen want, but what does the country want? The Congress has to decide. If you want to say Desh Bachao, it can't start with Congress Bachao. It has to then start... But yeah, Congress ni Gandhi family Bachao. That seems to be the big concern. The Congress... And the whole patronage system around them, which Shantanu Gupta just doesn't want to change, which from the BJP's perspective is ideal because that's exactly how the BJP would want things to be.